Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Karen Kwe, and I'm an information developer for BigFix. BigFix has released the web UI patch policies in late September of 2017 to enable customers to automate routine tasks for their ongoing patch cycles in the hopes to help reduce the cost of patching. Today, I'm going to provide a quick walkthrough on how you can set yourself up to use the patch policies app in BigFix web UI. Before anything else, I'd like to highlight that the documentation for the patch policies feature is found in the web UI user's guide and knowledge center. You can find all the information that you need about the feature from the requirements down to the tasks you can perform. The documentation team is always open to feedback. Should you have any comments, please drop us a note. Details will be posted in the description. Without any further ado, let's get the ball rolling. First things first. Ensure that the BigFix web report service is running. This service is responsible for ensuring that the app is able to retrieve data from the BigFix REST API. One way to confirm that the said service is running is when some data, such as computers, is displayed in the web reports page. Second point is to install the BigFix web UI service. You can use a Fixit with ID 3029, which can be found in the Best Support site, to install the BigFix web UI service. I have skipped this step in this video as I have already configured the service in the past. Once you have enabled the web UI service, the web UI apps will be gathered. It may take some time to gather various web UI apps to set them up. One way to confirm if the gathering process is complete is to look at the folder, which is under Best Web UI, Web UI Sites. If there is something in the pending folder, it means that the gathering process is still in progress. Alternatively, log files under Best Web UI, Web UI, Logs can also tell you if there is any error with their gathering process. Next is to ensure that you subscribe all users to all the relevant patching sites. Since patch policies is about patching, we need to subscribe to the patching sites. As of the creation of this video, Windows and Red Hat sites are supported. In this walkthrough, Patches for Windows site is used as an example. As a master operator, you can create non-master operator users to assign targets to the patch policies that you created. Ensure to give the proper permissions to the non-master operators to avoid any issues in the future. Make sure that these users can use REST API and Web UI. Also, make sure that the users have all the Windows-related sites assigned to him or her and assign the Windows computers to the user. This would enable them to assign the targets to the patch policies. And those are the things you need to be mindful of in the BigFix console when setting up the patch policy feature. Thanks for watching.